How big of a Selling Sunset fan are you really? If you can successfully answer all 25 of these questions, you're a true Selling Sunset lover. Which real estate agent from the show posed nude as a Playboy bunny when she was younger? Mary Fitzgerald Bonnet, Nicole Young, Heather Ray El Moussa, or Vanessa Villela? Pause here until you have your answer. Then press play when you think you've got it. Answer, when Heather Ray El Moussa was 21 years old, she posed for Playboy. Which real estate agent from the show used to be a professional NFL cheerleader for the Indianapolis Colts? Vanessa Villela, Amanda Smith, Emma Hernan, or Chelsea Lascani? Pause here until you have your answer. Then press play when you think you've got it. Answer. Amanda Smith revealed that she used to dance as a pro cheerleader for the Colts. Christine Quinn and Emma Hernan dated the same man. He also works at the Oppenheim Group. What's his name? Is it Peter Cornell, Parker Cornell, Percy Cornell, or Patrick Cornell? Pause here until you have your answer. Then press play when you think you've got it. Answer. Christine and Emma both dated a man named Peter Cornell in the past. How many women in the office that we know of have dated or hooked up with Jason Oppenheim? Three, four, five, or six? Pause here until you have your answer. Then press play when you think you've got it. Answer. Jason either dated or hooked up with four women. We're referring to Mary Fitzgerald Bonnet, Crystal Stouse, Nicole Young, and Amanda Smith. How many wedding ceremonies have been featured on Selling Sunset? One, two, three, or four. Pause here until you have your answer. Then press play when you think you've got it. The answer is, only two full wedding ceremonies have been featured on the show. Mary Fitzgerald Bonnet's wedding with Romaine Bonnet and Christine Quinn's wedding with Christian Richards. When Bray Teasy first joined the cast, she immediately butted heads with Chelsea Lascani. Why? Was it because Chelsea judged her for having a child with Nick Cannon? Brie didn't believe Chelsea was a licensed real estate agent, Chelsea criticized Brie's fashion, or Brie said Chelsea's accent was annoying. Pause here until you have your answer, then press play when you think you've got it. The answer is, Chelsea judged Brie's relationship with Nick Cannon off the bat, which caused her and Brie to get off on a very rocky start. Alana Gold claims she owned a cute little town in California, but she's since admitted that she doesn't technically own it. What is the town called? Parceltown, Peloton Town, Pioneer Town, or Paleo Town? Pause here until you have your answer. Then press play when you think you've got it. Answer. Alana claimed she owned Pioneer Town. Crystal Stouse has starred in several epic soap operas. Which of these soap operas did Crystal not star in? Days of Our Lives, The Young and the Restless, All My Children, or General Hospital? Pause here until you have your answer. Then press play when you think you've got it. Answer. Crystal had parts on all these shows except General Hospital. Which real estate agent from the show was determined to sell a $75 million listing? Maya Vander, Davina Potratz, Nicole Young, or Mary Fitzgerald Bonnet? Pause here until you have your answer. Then press play when you think you've got it. Davina was the agent who spent time trying to sell the $75 million mansion before she left the show. Jason Oppenheim was previously in a relationship with a much younger model who feuded with Crystal Stouse for a while. Who was she? Mary Lou Nurk, Madison Nurk, Madeline Nurk, or Mariah Nurk? Pause here until you have your answer. Then press play when you think you've got it. Answer. Jason dated Mary Lou Nurk, and her feud with Crystal was well documented on the show. Cassandra Dawn joined the show in season 7, but she didn't return for season 8. She quickly bonded with Chelsea Lascani, but she also became fast enemies with someone else in the office. Who was she beefing with? Emma Hernan, Mary Fitzgerald Bonnet, Brie Teasy, or Amanda Smith? Pause here until you have your answer. Then press play when you think you've got it. Answer. Cassandra had drama with Brie right away while filming the show. What season of the show was Heather Ray El Moussa's last season on Selling Sunset? Season 4, 5, 6, or 7? Pause here until you have your answer. Then press play when you think you've got it. Answer. Season 7 is the last time Selling Sunset viewers can catch a glimpse of Heather on the show. Christine Quinn repeatedly called someone fake on Selling Sunset while they were feuding during Season 1. Who was that? Davina Potratz, Crystal Stouse, Nicole Young, or Heather Ray El Moussa? Pause here until you have your answer. Then press play when you think you've got it. The answer is, Christine kept calling Crystal fake while they were arguing with each other. What season of the show was Davina Potratz's last season on Selling Sunset? Season 3, 4, 5, or 6? Pause here until you have your answer. Then press play when you think you've got it. The answer is, Season 4 is the last time Selling Sunset viewers can catch a glimpse of Davina on the show. Crystal Stouse skipped a group dinner during a trip to Cabo, and one of the other agents sent her an angry video to call her out. Who sent that? Mary Fitzgerald Bonnet, Chelsea Lascani, Amanda Smith, or Bray Tiasi? Pause here until you have your answer. Then press play when you think you've got it. The answer is, Amanda is the one who sent a video in the midst of her anger and frustration. Nicole Young spread a rumor about Emma Hernan during season 8. What was the rumor? That Emma is a mistress? That Emma wears fake designer? That Emma's sales have all been fabricated? Or that Emma is planning to quit the Oppenheim group? Pause here until you have your answer. 
then press play when you think you've got it. Answer. The rumor states that Emma is a mistress who's been having an affair with a married man, but nearly every other Selling Sunset star has shut down that narrative. Chelsea Lascani filed for divorce from her husband, Jeff Lascani. What rumor was swirling about their marriage on the show? That they were bickering about moving to the East Coast, that he filed for bankruptcy, that he was cheating on her, or that he was spending too much time abroad? Pause here until you have your answer, then press play when you think you've got it. Answer. The rumor swirling states that Jeff was caught kissing another woman in the lobby of a hotel. Why did Maya Vander leave Selling Sunset? She was tired of feuding with Christine Quinn. She made a mistake on a home sale. She didn't like the commission amount she was receiving, or she relocated to Miami. Pause here until you have your answer, then press play when you think you've got it. Answer. Maya left the show after she relocated to Miami. When Chrishell Staus married her partner, G Flip, Selling Sunset producers added pics of the ceremony on the show. Where did they tie the knot? Denver, Las Vegas, Phoenix, or Baltimore? Pause here until you have your answer, then press play when you think you've got it. The answer is, Chrishell and G Flip got married in none other than Las Vegas. Which of the following details were noticeable at Christine Quinn's wedding? Broken heart-shaped plates, jack-o'-lantern centerpieces, a red wedding dress, or fake falling snow? Pause here until you have your answer then press play when you think you've got it. The answer is, Christine had fake snow falling during her wedding ceremony. What was Romain Bonnet's job when he first moved to Hollywood before he got into modeling and reality television? Pastry chef, personal trainer, life coach, or firefighter? Pause here until you have your answer, then press play when you think you've got it. The answer is, Romain worked as a pastry chef when he first arrived in Los Angeles. What season of the show was Vanessa Villela's last season on Selling Sunset? Was it season three, four, five, or six? Pause here until you have your answer, then press play when you think you've got it. Answer. Vanessa joined the show in its fourth season, but season five was still her last. Amanda Lynn filmed scenes for season eight with Bray TZ, but some of her old tweets have resurfaced. So why did she feel the need to apologize for those tweets? Was she bashing Bray TZ, bad-mouthing Disneyland, posting racial slurs, or dragging the Oppenheim group? Pause here until you have your answer, then press play when you think you've got it. The answer is, Amanda's old tweets were super racist which is why she's publicly apologized. Mary Fitzgerald Bonnet and Jason Oppenheim shared a dog who passed away in season eight. What was his name? Was it Nato, Nemo, Nico, or Ninja? Pause here until you have your answer, then press play when you think you've got it. Answer, Mary and Jason's dog was named Nico, and they hosted a heartfelt funeral for him. Crystal Staus went through a heartbreaking divorce on Selling Sunset. Who was her ex-husband? Was it Glenn Powell, Justin Hartley, Will Arnett, or Chase Crawford? Pause here until you have your answer, then press play when you think you've got it. Answer. Justin Hartley was the name of Crishel's ex-husband. How many of these questions did you answer correctly about Selling Sunset? Let us know in the comment section below.